For over 200 years, the Festetic family was one of the most important noble families in Hungary. Paul Festetic III was raised to the rank of count in the 18th century, and many of the other family members reached other distinguished titles and played important roles in Hungary's political, economic, scientific and cultural scenes. The Festetic Palace in Kesthely, a stone's throw away from Lake Balaton, is one of the most visited palaces in Hungary. Built in the middle of the 18th century on the model of French mansions, it is distinguished by the luxury of its exterior and interior decoration. The main building of the palace is surrounded by a beautiful park with fountains, sculptures and flower beds. Christopher Festetic started its construction in 1745. His son, Paul III, and grandson, George I, contributed to the palace's furnishing and the expansion of its unique book collection. It was during the life of Tassilo Festetic II that the palace acquired its present shape and form. But who were the members of this important and influential family that made the greatest contribution to the development of the region and left this outstanding Baroque palace with more than 80,000 original books, furnishings and a majestic park to the enjoyment of us all? The first Festetic who settled in Hungary, Paul Festetic I, probably moved to the Batyány estate in Németújvár in 1634 in hope of a better life after the Turkish conquest of Croatia. His son, Paul II, created the family's wealth by taking part in successful battles against the Turks and through advantageous marriages. The founder of the Kesthely branch of the Festetic family was Christopher Festetic. He had a successful legal and clerical career, including being the judge of the highest judicial body, the seven-member panel. He bought up estates in Kesthely in 1739, and this is how the town became the seat of the Festetic domain. Christopher began the construction of the family's palace in 1745 and, with his own book collection, founded the palace's library. Today, the ornate Helicon Library is the only intact private library in Hungary with its original book collection and furnishing. Christopher also contributed to the development of Kesthely by founding a hospital, subsidizing the pharmacy of the Franciscans and inviting craftsmen to settle in the town. Christopher's son, Paul III, inherited the fee tail estate of Kesthely after his father's death. Following his law studies, he became Maria Theresa's legal and financial advisor. He drafted, among others, the Herbarier Decree of 1767, which regulated the rights of the peasantry. For his services, he received the title of Count from Maria Theresa in 1772. In order to develop Kesthely, Paul III founded an elementary school and a high school, and it was during his time that the settlement received the right to a weekly market. He built the family's first big ship, the salt freighter Christoph. One of his sons, Emrik Festetic, published the book The Genetic Laws of Nature in 1819. 
His daughter, Juliana Festetic, married Francis Széchenyi. Out of their wedlock, a baby boy was born, who later became one of the most significant figures in Hungarian history. Count István Széchenyi Paul III's eldest son, George I, was one of the most important members of the family. George I spoke several languages and acquired a wide range of knowledge during his studies. After a short clerical career, he chose the military path and served in the Graven Hussar Regiment. His military service was short-lived and in 1791 he returned to Kesthely, where he introduced modern manorial management on the Festetic estate. In 1797, he established the first post-secondary institution for agricultural studies in Europe, the Georgikon, which was founded by the family until 1848. As a patron of Hungarian culture and education, George I supported book publishing and extended the Palace Library's collection to five times its original size. He also founded the Reformed Secondary School in Churgo and established the Helicon celebrations, in the framework of which he welcomed the students of the Georgikon and the local music school, as well as contemporary writers and poets. He cleared up the surroundings of Lake Havis and established bathhouses. In order to develop navigation on Lake Balaton, he founded a shipyard. The first sailing ship with scheduled service on the lake, the Phoenix, was built here in 1797. George I's son, Laszlo Festetic, continued his father's cultural mission and financed several institutions and projects such as the Georgikon, public libraries, the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, the Pest Horse Races and the National Officer Training. In order to improve transport and trade, Laszlo commissioned the construction of several large sailing ships as well as a bridge on the river Zala in 1837. In 1828, partly due to his excessive spending and partly because of the changing economic situation in Europe, the Festetic estate was placed under guardianship. Laszlo's eldest son, Tassilo Festetic I, achieved the highest military rank, that of Cavalry Lieutenant General. He supported the development of Kesthely and its surroundings by setting up the Kesthely Fire Brigade and by further developing Lake Havis. Tassilo's brother, George II, did a lot for the development of Hungarian agriculture in the period after the 1848-49 War of Independence. It is his merit that the higher education in agricultural studies was relaunched in Kesthely. For four years following the 1867 Austria-Hungary Compromise, he held the position of minister serving the king. George II's son, Tassilo II, was granted the title of Hungarian Duke by Franz Joseph in 1911. Through his marriage to Mary Victoria Hamilton, Princess of Scotland, the Festetic family became related to European royalties. (music) 
As a dowry, the princess brought masterpieces of art, sculpture, rare books, and handmade furniture to the palace, which acquired its present form during this time. Tassilo II was a passionate hunter and horse breeder. Prominent members of the Hungarian and European aristocracy joined his hunting parties. His racehorses achieved countless successes on the racetracks of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. It was partly due to his financial support that the new Kesthely High School could open its doors in 1892. During World War I, the Festetich family ran a 40-bed military hospital for the wounded soldiers. Tassilo II continued in his ancestors' footsteps as a patron of culture. In 1921, he relaunched the Helicon celebrations and donated land and building materials for the construction of the Balaton Museum. Tassilo II's wife, Princess Mary Hamilton, died in 1922. The Duke had a mausoleum built in her memory, which was completed in 1925. Tassilo II himself was buried here in 1933. George III, Tassilo II's son, received the ducal title in 1933 after his father's death. Before World War I, he served as a diplomat in Paris and London. During the war years, he fought on the Serbian and then on the Italian fronts, where he won numerous awards. He financed the development of the baths in Hades and Kesthely and held the position of senior president of the Balaton Association. As a young man, he had a stable of racehorses and after World War I, he became actively involved in equestrian sports, although he did not achieve such great successes with his racehorses as his father did. His son, George IV, inherited the title of Duke and the Festetich Trust after his sudden death in 1941. At the end of World War II, in September 1944, he and his mother, Countess Maria Hogwitz, left the country. George III and Countess Maria Hogwitz were both buried in the Festetich family's mausoleum, the latter in 1990, as part of a reburial and fulfilling her wish to be buried on Hungarian soil. Based on all the individual and collective accomplishments of generations of the Festetich family, we can safely say that they have made remarkable and indelible contributions to the Hungarian society and culture. Their palace is a must-see while touring Western Hungary and the Balaton area.